another quarantine vlog. It's almost 12.30 at this point on Tuesday, April 14th, and I have just reset up my little space that I've been showing you guys in previous vlogs. Um, we just had the Easter holiday, so I kind of cleared off the table um, for the weekend, but now I'm back in my little corner in our dining room. Um, I'm listening to the Gals on the Go podcast. And because yesterday, Monday, was still technically my Easter break, I took the day off from classes. So right now I'm actually just going through all of my little post-it note to-do lists and figuring out everything that I need to do for my classes this week. Um, and then also just trying to make a plan for the rest of the day. Got up around 10 a.m. today and just made breakfast, hung out with my parents, threw in some laundry. So it's definitely been a bit more of a productive morning than I'm used to, but I'm hoping that I can really grind out some work today just so I can stay ahead on online classes and I'll be keeping you guys updated, of course. class to-do lists. Um, I'm not going to explain my like whole process because I've talked about it before in a previous vlog, but I have a good number of lectures that I want to work through today. And then I also made my to-do list of things to do outside of classes, like fold my laundry, which I just threw into the dryer, and then just like sorority and TEDx stuff. Um, and I also want to respond and open all of my emails that I'm behind on, which you would think that because I've been home and on my computer and phone so much that I would be caught up on my emails, but I am not. I have, this is going to be embarrassing, 328 unopened emails in my inboxes. Most of them are junk mail because I look at my inbox every day and I open and like read the ones that are important, but everything else I've kind of just been ignoring. Um, so yeah, that's a problem that I need to deal with later this afternoon. But right now I am sitting down to do some uh, supply chain notes and listen to my professor's lecture. So just got a little bit of a setup going and I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then probably catch up with you guys when I'm making my lunch. It's 2.30 now and I just made lunch. I'm sure it'll come to no surprise to anyone that I've once again made a ham and cheese sandwich. I swear, I eat other foods for lunch, but every time that I vlog, this just happens to be what I'm eating. And also, once again, I'm watching Bon Appetit. So yeah, this is kind of like a daily occurrence at this point. flies and it's almost 6 p.m. but I got a decent amount of note taking done. I was mostly focusing on my supply chain notes because um, I had a bunch of exams in my science classes last week so I kind of fell behind in this class but I'm definitely feeling caught up right now and it's really sunny outside but I know that it's very cold, like so cold it was snowing earlier. I think I'm gonna try to go out for a run nonetheless because I've started doing that now. Well, we don't have any full body mirrors for me to show you, but I'm all dolled up, got my little like winter headband, gloves, and long socks. And um, the app that I use is called C25K. And so it essentially just 
tells me um, to like run and walk in intervals at first. I'm sure once I get further along, I'll be running more. Um, but today I'm going to do a brisk five minute warm up walk and then alternate 90 seconds of jogging and two minutes of walking for a total of a 20 minute workout. And then I'll finish it off with a five minute like cool down walk. So let's cross our fingers that I don't freeze out there because I'm pretty sure it's um, 37 degrees outside, but the feels like temperature is 28. So love that for me. I'm on my first walking break right now and am already regretting not taking off my mascara because the wind is like blowing into my eyes and they're tearing up. So I'm sure by the end of this, I'm gonna have just like raccoon eyes, but it doesn't feel too cold because I'm bundled up, but I feel like I have the perfect amount of layers going on. I made it home from my run just in time for dinner. So I just finished eating and now I'm going to hop in the shower. And then I'm really excited because I have a group FaceTime with my little and my G little. So we're just gonna have a little catch up. It's gonna be so cute. Well, we ended up pushing back our call 45 minutes. So I thought that I was going to use the time to make a banana bread because surprisingly, I haven't done that yet. I've been back home quarantined for over a month now and I haven't even baked anything once. So. I thought that tonight was gonna be the night that I cracked because we have three overripe bananas, um, but we don't have any eggs. So banana bread is gonna have to wait until tomorrow. And instead, this is so silly, but um, I've been meaning to dust my room for a while. So that's how I'm gonna kill the time is um, just, yep, dusting the furniture. <laughs> little and it was really nice to talk to them and catch up but we ended up online shopping while we were talking and guys I was so proud of myself I've gone practically the entire month without spending any money on anything unnecessary but today I cracked I ended up getting a sorority sweatshirt that I'm going to like bleach tie-dye when it comes in and then the other thing that I got was actually this hammock um, because we have a bunch of trees in our backyard and when the weather gets nice again, I want to be able to hang out out there. Huh, get it? Hang. So this one was actually only $37, but it had a ton of good reviews. So I'm excited. I just picked a neutral color, but yeah, finally cracked and did some online shopping. Not entirely proud of myself, but I did get paid last week. So at least that's something. Anyways, um, I realized while I was talking to them that I forgot about my laundry, so I need to go pull that out of the dryer because I'm sure it's done by now. And so I'm probably going to finish a movie that I started on Netflix and fold my laundry and then possibly paint my nails before going to bed. Mm -hmm. doing a good job of focusing but this is what they ended up looking like just a little bit of a two-toned pink and purple pastel so I don't know I just figured it would be fun for spring but seeing as it is past 11:30, I am now going to take out my contacts 
change into pajamas and go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. It was definitely a more productive day than my last video, but that's what happens when you're in quarantine. You have some productive days, you have some really lazy days. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to let me know in the comments, of course, and subscribe to this channel so you get more videos just like this. But other than that, I guess I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye!